this is Kimi Matsumoto coming from Japan. And I would like to show you about the political measures of anti-pediatric cancer in Japan. First, uh, I would like to introduce the current status of pediatric malignancies in Japan. And second part, uh, I would like to show you about the relation of pediatric cancer patients in Kanto Oceans area of Japan. In Japan, we have 2,000 to 2,500 pediatric malignancies per year. Half of the patients are hematological malignancies, and the other half are solid tumors. Uh, this data comes from the registry of Japanese Society of Pediatric Hematology and Oncology. So the number of brain tumor might be low. The basic plan to pro promote anti-cancer measures were enacted in Japan in June 2012, and pediatric cancer was suggested to be a priority issue. In February 2013, the Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare elected 15 core hospitals in seven regional blocks in Japan with the aim to provide uniform accessibility to pediatric cancer treatment. As a leader of the 15 core hospitals, Japanese government designated two central organizations. One is NCCHD, it's my hospital, and the other is National Cancer Center. This slide shows 15 core hospitals in Japan. There are seven regional blocks. You can see uh, the purple one. The purple one is uh, uh, Kanto Koshinets area, uh, which has a to uh, this is a Tokyo area. So, uh, and in Kanto Koshinets area, we have four uh, core hospitals. Around 40% of newly diagnosed pediatric cancer patients gathered to core hospitals, around 40%, and the half of the uh, of them integrated to six core children's hospital, and the and the other half are uh, uh, integrated to nine core hospitals other than children's hospital. Uh, this is a summary of the first part. In Japan, uh, pediatric cancer patients are treated. Uh, by 100 or 200 hospitals, which are thought to be too many. Uh, now, the government intended to integrate these hospitals to uh, 15 core hospitals. Okay, uh, uh, we move on to uh, the second part. In Kanto Koshinets area, uh, we have uh, 700 uh, to 750 newly diagnosed pediatric cancer patients yearly, which are treated in uh, al around uh, five, uh, 50 hospitals. And this is Tokyo, and this is my hospital, NCCHD. We collected total number of, of the pediatric cancers in 37 hospitals, which belong to Liaison Council of Childhood cancer in Kanto Koshinet area and provides the data through internet. Uh, this is a summary. Uh, this is a, a summary of the corrected data. And uh, the corrected data were analyzed to reveal the change before and after the election of the core hospitals. Uh, this is the result. Uh, after the election, after the election of 15 core hospitals for pediatric cancer treatment, uh, the total number of hospitalization days of pediatric cancer patients has increased uh, up to 34.1% uh, from 28% in Kanto Koshin area. So this means a gradual integration of pediatric cancer patients in Kanto Koshin area has achieved. Uh, when we see hematological malignancies, although the number of newly uh, diagnosed uh, patients 
were high in four core hospitals, but uh, the ratio of the number uh, of patients newly diagnosed after 2013 to that before 2012 was below 1.0. So it means uh, in uh, four core hospitals, hematological malignancy is decreased. Uh, in other hand, uh, if we compare the hematological malignancies, uh, brain tumors, brain tumors, patient integration was obvious. Uh, you can see uh, in Kanto Koshin's area, 15, 15 hospitals that not, uh, do not treat brain tumor, but every 37 uh, hospitals can treat hematological malignancies. And if we see the ratio uh, after uh, 2013 to before 2012, uh, all, uh, all four, uh, not all, uh, three hospitals of core hospitals uh, increased. Uh, this is similarly uh, for the solid tumors. Uh, integration patients were apparent and core hospital collected more solid tumor patients uh, than uh, before 2012. So, uh, this is the conclusion. Integration of the patient with brain tumor or solid tumors and equally dividing in hematological malignancies is reali realizing in Kanto Koshinets area after the election of 15 core hospitals in Japan. And this is our National Center for Child Health and Development. We came to Moscow with uh, Dr. Tomizawa and Dr. Terashima. And we are so impressed uh, because of your beautiful city. Barishoye, uh, spasiba. Thank you. Спасибо. Может быть, вопросы есть какие-то. Уважаемые коллеги, проблема uh, концентрации пациентов для того, чтобы обеспечить его качество лечения, это проблема, которая решается во всех странах. Есть два варианта развития событий. В небольших странах Европы очень концентрировано по населению. Там помощь пациентам оказывается во всех регионах с малым коечным фондом. Но существуют крупные центры, где концентрируются сверхтяжелые пациенты, которые нуждаются в специализированных пациентах. В этих центрах находятся референс-центры морфологии, Поэтому вот опыт Японии очень для нас интересен. Спасибо. Спасибо.